it is a rainy day, so it's a good day to do a video. Um, this is the Skyline Enterprises pulley clothesline system. Uh, I just put this up here a few weeks ago. We had a rope down here from that tree up to that tree, and uh, well, it's a rope. It's a pain in the ass, especially if you're gonna do a, a big, uh, big sheets and stuff like that, and you have to move around, and we don't have a dryer. So um, I ordered this system. This is kind of their top of the line um, uh, unit here. This is uh, uh, two pulleys, 300 feet of uh, 3 16 PVC coated uh, cable here. Um, I sprung for the aluminum wheels. It was like an extra 60 or 70 bucks as opposed to the poly wheels. I'm sure the poly wheels are just fine. Um, I'm just looking for like super long term and the ability to repair this if I ever have to. It has a bearing in it. I don't know what uh, the bearing is specifically, but I assume I'd be able to replace it if I had to. Um, installation here, I have 144 feet from bark to bark, uh, two cherry trees. Uh, it comes with this ratchet uh, already affixed to the end of 300 feet of cable. You can get it in uh, other lengths of cable, less than 300 feet. So, you know, you're doing 150 feet max. I have about 10 feet um, spare here, and I just looped it up because I just didn't know what was gonna happen. Um, and it's not hurting anything, it's perfectly fine. I'm probably gonna have to tighten it up. It's starting to get a little bit of sag to it, but uh, seems to be working really well. So when you use this thing, um, I should have laundry out, but of course it's raining and whatever. So we're gonna use this right here. I'll leave this thing up. Um, you send out the ratchet first and it has a spacer already affixed to it and that stays. And then you go ahead and start adding all of your, uh, your laundry. After a while, this is optional here to put this, this little stowaway thing here to keep the pulleys from moving, but I definitely would recommend it. Um, after, you know, 30 or 40 feet, maybe a load of laundry, go ahead and clip one of these on and then keep sending it out. It works great. It's extremely smooth. If I didn't have that flag on there right now, um, I could probably send that ratchet out 75 feet just with one single cast. Uh, very, very smooth. This thing does have a lock in it. There's a, uh, a gap right there. Um, I don't really see the need to, to lock it. If I have a lot of sheets or something out there, I suppose I could uh, in the event that uh, the wind should catch it and carry it along to the end, but it's not like it can, go, it can really go anywhere. Um, another thing I really like about this, it has these guides or these um, stops here to keep your sucking your finger in there too far. Um, and it just so happens that our clothespin bag fits on there just beautifully. Uh, if I had it out here, I'd demonstrate that, but it's not particularly important. Um, I have a stainless steel hook that I purchased. They don't send it with hooks, probably because every application is different and there's probably some liability involved there. You start giving hardware out like that and somebody doesn't put it in properly. So um, that's, there's three or four inches of, of uh, coarse thread on there. Bought it at Tractor Supply. Um, drilled an appropriate size hole and cranked it in. I'm pretty confident that this cherry tree is gonna hold up for a pretty long time. Um, the pulley on the other end, this one's 12 inch, the one on the other end is 16 inch. Um, I might as well go ahead and cast this out so you can get an idea how high it is. My situation here allowed for, um, I think at the most is about 16 feet in the middle to the bottom cable. You see how much slop there is there. So that, that needs tightened up. Uh, that one tree down there is a, uh, also a cherry and that's a little smaller. Um, there is a little bit of concern about this thing, um, in high winds, the trees kind of swaying back and forth. The, uh, uh, the people that make these, I called out to Ohio and they suggested I put a spring in. You probably can't see it very well, but right behind the 16 inch dummy wheel, uh, there's a pretty heavy spring. I didn't know what kind of spring to put in. I didn't know how much tension it was going to take. I figured quite a bit. Uh, I ended up getting, it came in a pair. It's, um, they're uh, porch swing springs. So they actually work on compression rather than tension, which is kind of odd. There's the hooks on either end, pass the whole way through, and it squeezes on the spring. I've lost most of the, um, the travel on that spring, so it's probably not appropriate. I probably need something a little heavier, but uh, that's that's gonna do for now. Um, like I said, I will go ahead and tighten it up. 
I love the fact that it's so high that even with a full sheet up there, I can, uh, I can walk right under it. That's, uh, I think it's a four by six flag and I can walk right under it in this spot. And that's not even the, uh, the low spot in the yard. So I don't have any risk of ever busting this thing by walking into it or driving into it with a tractor. I mean, you'd have to have a pretty large piece of equipment with a bucket up in the air to, to snag it. And that's just uh, ridiculous. So like I said, with every situation being different, uh, our particular situation called for this platform. That's what I decided to do because I decided this tree to that tree were the best spot. Um, but I got this hill here and the uh, Skyline does offer this nice rod that, uh, that this entire assembly attaches to. You uh, load your laundry and then you push it up and the, the attachment point is on a, at about a three foot uh, galvanized rod and slides up out of the way. And then you can pull it back down with a rope whenever you want to take the laundry down. I think it's a great design. I was going to go with that, but uh, I decided to just leave the thing fixed and get it up high enough in the air uh, that it's out of the way. And then I built this platform here. Uh, the platform's just two by sixes treated, left over from another project that I didn't do um, or haven't done yet. And I have it set up in such a way that the cable is probably about five feet, about shoulder height for me above the, uh, uh, above the platform. And it's probably a little bit, a uh, little, little higher than shoulder height for my wife. But uh, nonetheless, it's much lower than uh, a conventional clothesline would be because uh, anything this low and you'd be dragging your clothes and your sheets on the, on the ground. The other advantage here is that you're high enough that you can throw a sheet over this cable and uh, you have no risk of it touching the ground at all. You don't have to use prop sticks or anything like that to hold the thing up. Uh, so I just have a stone here to, to get up and down. I'm thinking about putting in a, uh, a pipe and a... Um, a horizontal pole that you can be swung out of the way that I can put hangers on. And then when we're taking the clothes off of the clothesline, put them directly on hangers and not have to throw them in the basket and drag them in the house. Um, construction of this, again, every situation is different. I was able to dig a three foot hole and put in a locust post. And that's where this thing is mostly secured from moving around. And I got some, some bracing there, some carriage bolts that go through it. Uh, just notched it with the chainsaw not that pretty but it works and then i couldn't put a post there because of the roots of the cherry tree so i had a lot of rock uh, in a pile so uh I just kind of cleared a spot and they're just dry stacked i just wiggle them around until everything was stable and felt good um if i do feel any concerns about those rocks ever coming loose and rolling down this big hill into my house um i could take a galvanized pipe i suppose and just drive it on the downhill side of those i may do that just to make myself feel better uh, I also, because these are not secured to the rocks at all, um, and the whole thing can twist because it's only sitting on that one post, I did throw one, one line bolt into the cherry tree in the bottom. I don't like putting bolts into trees. Um, I did leave, I didn't tighten it down the whole way. It's, uh, it's probably got an inch of head of, of neck, whatever, left on the bolt. So, uh, you know, a little bit of room for the tree to expand, but these cherry trees, they don't, they don't always last that long, so we'll see what happens down the road. I can always take the system down. So that is the Skyline pulley system. I highly recommend it. Uh, it cost me about $300, um, maybe plus shipping, or maybe, no, I think it was with shipping. I think it was $295 with shipping. Um, it sounds like a lot of money to a lot of people, but we don't have a dryer, and it saves us a ton of time, and it's just, it's a, it's a pleasure to use. The customer service was fantastic. Uh, I think I ordered it and within 33 minutes I had gotten four different emails about uh, receiving the order, preparing the order, order prepared, <laughs> order shipped. <laughs> I think I had it in two days, which was just crazy. So uh, yeah, kudos to those people. I hope they do really well. Um, and I highly recommend the system. If you have a smaller setup, you have a smaller, you know, this is a, a large expanse here. We could probably put three loads of laundry on here pretty easily. It's just the two of us. So if you had a big family, I think this would be awesome, uh, but you can go smaller. You can go for something that's more like hundred feet distance or even 50 feet distance, 75 feet um, with smaller wheels and less, less, less cost. So do check it out. They have a website. Thanks.